what is going on everybody welcome for the first time we're back to another DLJ works video and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a simple spinning animation with a logo reveal at the end right here in Photoshop a lot of people don't know this about Photoshop but Photoshop has a very unspoken powerful animation tool within its timeline feature and you can create some very simple logo animations for any customers that you're working with any company and these simple animations will actually go will actually go a long run depending on whatever you're trying to create to actually add an extra bit of ump to a very static image all right so for here for example this is actually for my church I created this low spinning logo animation all right where we actually see that there's a white car what appears to be a white car which is really just the logo with the white background it starts off small it's spinning very fast and then at the very end it gets bigger and it reveals the actual church logo at the very end and all I've done was added this very small five second clip sky clip right there in Photoshop now the thing with Photoshop is that Photoshop isn't really meant to deal with high-end files unless you have a rather large I guess hard drive to deal for the scratch disk to deal with but ideally you want to keep you don't want to do anything above 30 seconds in terms of adding and creating footage here in Photoshop and that has a lot to do with the scratch disk this that's beyond talking about scratch disk is beyond the scope of this video but I just want to kind of let you know that but this is Photoshop is very powerful if you're trying to use animations and it's very easy for you to actually use as well so that's that's the animation that we're going to do here right now let's go ahead and go into Photoshop so right now as you can see I've already have a file open the canvas dimensions are 800 by 600 I already have the church logo that I'm going to be using because there's no sense of reinventing the reel already loaded here and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have to go back let me actually turn this off I'm gonna turn the opacity down because we don't want we want this I want you to be able to see how to actually do the animation so that's gonna be the first thing that we're going to do now when it comes to animating we're going to come down here to our timeline there's going to be a button that says uh, create a new timeline create a video timeline so once you do that you'll have everything all of the layers present right here in our timeline area so I have the drop down already set and we have to really pay attention to our movements that's going to be down here in the timeline once you actually understand the science of how a timeline works this will become very easy for you so our starting point right here is about zero frames so what I'm gonna do now is about go to about this is about five frames so I am going to hold the shift key because I want to keep the dimensions about the same I'm going to flip this all right to about right there and then I'm going to bring it back over here to the center okay now the reason that I'm doing that is because we want the animation of the actual logo the, the, the flipping animation to be in the same spot we don't want the animation to start from right here and then go from here then go back here then go from right there we we don't want that that's the main reason why I've actually like put it back here so now I'm going to hit the check mark alright and if we notice another diamond indicating that we added movement or added a change to our logo right here in our timeline has appeared right underneath the actual logo itself so for about every five frames we're going to create a flip animation so I'm going to go down here to the timeline first before I even touch my logo I'm going to then go ahead okay hold the shift key bring it back to the center check mark it okay come to about five frames okay do the same thing hold the shift key flip it bring it back over here hit the check mark now one of the things that I want to say is as I'm flipping this over I'm my width and height dimensions of the actual logo aren't going to be exact and if you really want to actually control that and be exact every time that you make this card actually flip you can actually go up here to the very top and I'll show you that in a second let me go ahead and go to the next frame we're going to flip this again okay before I hit this check mark if I really wanted to have everything exact I can pretty much go up here and just change the number to width and height and my X and Y dimensions 
here to make sure that everything is numerically exactly where it's supposed to be but just going off of the actual centering snap into the actual canvas itself with the purple lines I, that gives you enough accuracy and you can kind of gauge and, and guesstimate in terms of what size your logo is going to actually be when you're doing completing this flip animation without having to be too anal about the exact dimensions and perspectives so let me go ahead and click the check mark there let's go to another okay another five frames per second okay we're going to move this back over here to the center check mark that I'm going to hold the shift key. Another reason why I'm holding the shift key to is so I can keep the exact dimensions, so I can keep pretty much everything proportionate and constrained. I'm going to do that. Let's go back to another five frames. I'm going to hit the shift key again, hold it. We're going to flip it. Go back there, hit that. Okay. that back over here to the center check mark for that all right one more five frames so we're going to have this go into about two seconds okay click that Right, perfect. All right, so now if there's something, if I didn't get my actual timing down, I can actually make the adjustments here by simply moving the diamonds over. Which, if you're spreading it out based on the time in between each diamond, you can either speed up or slow down how fast or how slow the animation is actually going to go. So, this one right here, I'm going to actually move this over because it's just a, just a little bit off and maybe move this over just a little bit okay uh, we'll probably just leave that right where it is okay all right so everything that looks about even out maybe about right here the time it may actually be just a little bit too close but that's okay for now that's that's quite okay because it's going to be so much of a minute, minute difference in actual grand scope of the entire animation all right so at the very end of the animation what i want to do now is i want to make this from this frame right here to about the tenth of a frame we're going to actually stretch this to where this will actually be this will actually be much bigger in the end I'm going to center that I'm just going to hit the check mark alright so this is going to grow unanimously pretty large at a very rapid pace when you get to from the two second frame mark until this tenth of a frame all right so now from here and i probably should add a background so y'all could be able to see this a lot easier so i'm going to add a let me see here let's just add a very green background very dark green background all right perfect okay so our movement animation is pretty much set so let's go ahead and let's see what this actually looks like and I'm going to go all the way up here and I'm going to take this and bring this down to about okay about three seconds okay so every 30 seconds every 30 frame equals a second all right that's pretty much the math on that so if I go ahead and go back here uh oh we want to bring our background so we can be able to see that okay and I'm just going to click on settings and I'm going to loop playback. All right, perfect. And I'm going to hit play. All right, there we go. All right, so now, like I said, if you want the logo to spin a lot faster than that, then just come down here to the diamonds and move them over and just adjust as needed based on what speed you want your logo to go ahead and move um, at what you want your speed of your logo to go ahead and move at. 
all right so now the other thing that we actually need to do at this moment is now i want to go ahead and i don't want the logo to actually the actual face of a logo to show when it's actually spinning so that's right this is the reveal part that we're going to work on right now so what i want to do here is i'm going to click on style and i'm going to do the color overlay which i already have and i'm going to make this opacity 100 percent so it's white okay and then about here Okay, then about right here, I'm going to add another diamond because this is the beginning and then this is the ending part for this round of it being white. But when you actually get from here, okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make the color overlay. We're going to reduce it. We're going to make this about... 50% okay and then when you by the time you get here we'll make it a hundred percent and you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second so let me go ahead and let's make this a hundred percent uh oh I'm sorry zero percent so the whole entire logo can be seen okay and then we're going to just go ahead and click play Boom, voila. Now I did two seconds. I decided to go ahead and just do about up to two seconds so you can kind of see a really good extent of making the animation happen. All right, but as you can see here, this is looking really good. So now it reveals and it shows the logo at the very end. So from here, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to save, export this as a as a little video or you can export it as a gif if you want to if you want to export it as a gif you'll have to go to say for web legacy which let's go ahead and let's do that okay and I have all my settings already set up here just go ahead and click the play button down here just just see how the animation will go we'll go to save and I'm going to save this to my desktop so I can easily retrieve it. Spin an animation. Save that. All right, perfect. Now, if I wanted to export it as a regular video, then I'm going to go to, let's see here, export, render video. All right, I'll leave it at spinning animation MP4. This is going to be saved on my little SD card that I have plugged in, high quality. So all of my dimensions are pretty much set up here. Uh, if I wanted to, well, that needs to just stay H.264. Preset high quality, 30 frames per second. So everything's looking good there. Okay, go to render. All right, perfect. Now, let's go ahead and check to see what our GIF actually looks like. This is our GIF. I'm going to open this up. Okay, taking a little bit of time there to load, but should be working without any problems. All right, perfect. All right, as you can see, once you actually render it, this actually moving pretty fast so the actual speed is really fast it's just in Photoshop <laughs> I guess it's just going a little bit slow there but let's go ahead and let's see what our actual video looks like spinning animation where are you at there we go perfect all right so this is going to be one of many tutorials that I'm going to be doing on Photoshop animations and many other different things that you could do like this in Photoshop. 
another thing that you can add to your repertoire of skills if you're a web designer and you're trying to do certain things differently outside of just wanting to use HTML and CSS to accomplish certain animations and yeah Photoshop would just be definitely really good to add to your repertoire even if you're not a web designer but you're doing video production um, and you're trying to do some really quick animations Photoshop is definitely a powerful tool to accomplish some things so be on the lookout for those types of tutorials as well thank you for watching like share subscribe to this channel and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next video God bless y'all